Now, is this a scene from a post-apocalyptic zombie series like The Walking Dead? Nope. It's a scene of what happens when you have a big government in America's biggest cities. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Ogodowski of WeAreChange.org. Luckily, not anywhere near this place in Philadelphia. Hopefully, you're not <laughs> around there as well. Lots and lots of extremely important news to get into today, especially with some of the troubling developments unfolding right now between the United States and Russia. There's more civil unrest inside of the United States, and we had a major decision by the CDC and FDA on an issue that we've been warning you about. And of course, there's a lot of information surrounding this news that there's not a lot of important context on that we're going to be providing in this video. And just jumping right into it, yes, of course, there's more civil unrest inside of the United States, specifically in Minneapolis, where police officers says she accidentally shot and killed someone when she thought she was using a taser. This has sparked more violence in response to this. There have been lootings, there have been protests, there also have been multiple gunshots during these events that are only going to be unfolding and expanding from here all across the United States, especially during the summer. And as all of this is happening, the mainstream media is trying to obfuscate some of these events, with even some reporters demanding that police officers don't classify these events as riots when they are riots. Oh. Yeah, just so everybody's clear, I was front and, front and center at the protest, at the at the riot. Um, we did not. not don't do that. Mm -hmm. There was no okay. riot. There, there was. was. So I was. We were being the officers that were putting themselves in harm's way were being pelted with frozen cans of pop. They were being pel pelted with concrete blocks. And now it's also important to note here that big tech along with the mainstream media have been running with these narratives as well as perfectly exemplified of what happens when you Google riots today comparatively to when you duck duck go them on independent search engines and the results surely do show you a clear agenda that's being pushed forward now with this particular event of course it's a very divisive one many people who are on one particular side have already made up their mind the people who are on another have already made up their mind but again it's important to, to note here people aren't even looking at the facts and the details of this case and they should some people will always support the police no matter what some people will always support the protesters no matter what and in reality the truth is somewhere down the middle looking into this particular case it's filled with a lot of details it's filled with a lot of emotions as well as that's convoluting a lot of people's viewpoints on this i think this was a tragedy that should be avoided at all costs in the future and the police woman involved in this event made a very big mistake that she should face the full ramifications for the consequences of her actions. Now, does this single act of violence by the state justify other acts of violence? No, definitely not. All acts of violence should be called out no matter what, since, you know, that's, that's common sense and we don't live in a common sense reality. As perfectly exemplified by this latest geopolitical splat that we here as independent media have been telling you to keep an eye on, that we've been telling you weeks if not months ago to keep an eye on this situation because it will get worse from here. It has and it's only going to deteriorate further from here as of course the military industrial complex along with some elements of the mainstream media are very eager to sell more weapons. Ukraine of course wants to buy them. The United States is sending their military hardware and troops into the Ukrainian region. Russia, of course, is doing the same. Russia is now issuing a warning to the United States that its warship better stay away from Crimea for, quote, their own good. As, of course, the United States is still moving with their mobilization of their military forces, of course, near Crimea. Russia is accusing the United States of turning the region into, quote, a powder keg. NATO is, of course, standing with Ukraine. The U.S. government is, of course, saber rattling back against Russia, saying that they will act firmly in defense of Ukraine. And this entire situation is a mess with Russia calling the U.S. an adversary. And, man, the situation doesn't look good. I think I will do a full geopolitical breakdown on tomorrow's video 
highlighting some of the important history and context regarding this issue. If this is something you're interested in, let me know down in the comment section below. We always aim to do the best job we can for you here as independent media. Independent critical media that is becoming more and more censored by the day, as even Twitter recently blocked my friend Jason Whitlock for reporting the BLM founder buying a $1.4 million home in a predominantly white neighborhood. My friend Stand Up 911 also had his Instagram page taken down and now according to some of the terms and services you can even have mob deep videos on instagram as of course prodigy also someone that i was close with he definitely spoke his mind but to censor his his music videos i mean it's just in my opinion absolutely ridiculous and that's why your support is critically important on wearechange.org forward slash donate there's many ways you could contribute whether it's cryptocurrency venmo cash app ways without spending a dime checking out some of our products physical mail check it all out on wearechange.org also when you're there in the top right hand corner put in your email right now go to wearechange.org click the link right now in the description just put it in your email right here. It costs you nothing. And that is one sure, definite way of making sure that no matter what happens, independent media stays alive and well. Also, in today's Luke Uncensored video, I'm going to be talking about and, and sharing a lot of information that is absolutely troubling surrounding an issue that we can't even fully discuss here on this independent media organization. Now, today, there is a major announcement by the CDC and FDA that all the mainstream media organizations are running with, including CDC, even FDA, CNN, just... as these government agencies released a joint statement asking to pause the use of the Johnson & Johnson shot. This, of course, after health concerns, and they specifically cite six reports, six cases of rare and severe blood clots that have happened to individuals that have just taken this Johnson & Johnson shot. It's important to note here that there have been no long-term studies with this Johnson & Johnson shot, and we have to ask ourselves what's really happening here with this major announcement that of course will have larger implications on society and again we're, we're getting reports that astrazeneca and the johnson and johnson shot are causing rare blood clotting there have been a lot of reports that i've been talking about on lukeuncensored.com but the news that the federal government is stopping the use of this shot immediately should definitely raise some very serious questions now again the official story here that this is all surrounding six cases and as you know there's been a lot of reports of, of complications severe side effects blood clotting and, and other ailments that people have been going through after taking this and, and other shots now these federal government agencies are only talking about six reported cases and the mainstream media is reminding people that 6.8 million people have already been given this shot some people like blue check marked individuals are saying that they're happy that they got this shot before it was banned by the federal government because according to them it's a one in a million chance of blood clotting which they say is is more dangerous than getting the sickness that this shot is for and if you go by the official numbers uh, sure that that's true but but one she should look at the survival rate of, of this sickness in the first place and and two we have to legitimately ask ourselves is it is it six people like they officially say or is there something else happening here that they don't want to to panic people because at, at face value this this doesn't make sense is there something else here going on and let's be honest here these these government agencies don't have the best record of telling the truth the CDC was telling you not to wear masks then they were telling you to wear a mask then they were telling you to wear two then not to then two again a lot of the the policies and, and and protocols and procedures pushed by these federal agencies haven't always been the the most transparent or let's just say solid here so this already on, on on that simple basis alone is is giving people a lot of skepticism here which i think is absolutely warranted and granted now doctors are warning people if they feel sudden pain shortness of breath severe headaches abdominal pain leg pains or shortness of, of breath after taking any of these shots to quote seek medical treatment this shot was quote fast tracked by individuals like donald trump it was rushed there wasn't any long-term studies surrounding this and it was approved by these federal agencies beforehand along with of course the world health organization that improved this specific shot 
which now is also going to be delayed in Europe and other places around the world. People who had appointments to take the Johnson & Johnson shot will now keep their appointments, according to the medical professionals here, and they will be given either a Moderna or Pfizer shot instead of the Johnson & Johnson shot. The White House says that this latest news won't ruin the goal of 200 million people getting the shot by April 30th. Already, a large population of the United States has received one of these shots, and along with some complications, along with accusations of these shots not being administered correctly, the reports of the, the side effects, we're also getting news that some people who have taken the shot or also uh, getting the sickness that the, the shot is for as reported by this story of an Alaskan woman who caught the sickness for a second time after being given the Johnson and Johnson shot. Now we have seen reports of this happen sporadically all around the world. Medical professionals are saying that this chance of, of happening to the average person is quote relatively low but yet again here I can't stress this enough we only have the preliminary data that should raise some questions but but shouldn't make people jump to conclusions it's also important to note here that Donald Trump recently came out in a statement saying that the shot should be renamed the Trump scene as he of course is asking for more credit surrounding the shot that he rushed and pushed through emergency procedures to get these shots out there he came out recently and accused the quote bureaucrats at the FDA of being in a league with their friends at Pfizer since of course they approved the shot two days after the U.S. election. Donald Trump says that he does not agree with the federal government pausing of the distribution of this Johnson & Johnson shot. He described it as, quote, terrible, and said that this will permanently challenge the reputation of the shot. Now, again, lots of things are, are happening here. This situation is very fast moving. I, I'm not a medical professional. I, I don't claim to know what's going on, but I think it's important to, to note here that I'm in the same boat as everyone else, including the mainstream media that are choosing to run with narratives rather than ask important questions. Now, with this latest announcement by these federal agencies, we have to ask ourselves, is this happening because of this rare blood clot concern with six people? That's one theory. The second theory is that there's something else going on right now that the CDC and other federal agencies don't want to panic the public over, and that there could be graver complications or problems ahead that they don't want to tell the American public about. Or three, as Donald Trump kind of hinted at, is the FDA in bed with Pfizer trying to stump out the competition, Johnson & Johnson, that of course is rising on their coattails. Now, these are three theories, which I think are, are plausible here, but which one do you think is unfolding right now? Let me know down in the comment section below, as well as any other evidence you have to suggest that any of these theories are true. Again, I do not claim to know the truth, I can only do my best to pursue it. We're on YouTube, so of course the government is always telling the truth. The medical professionals are always telling the truth. High praise to Bill Gates. High praise to Dr. Fauci. High praise to the CDC and FDA that of course have no corporate ties to organizations like Monsanto previously before in history. Praise the government. They all know what's good for you and great. Hallelujah to the pharma industrial complex because they never did anything wrong. Always believe the official story. The government never lies to you guys. Come on. Okay, so yeah, you got that YouTube moderator? Okay, good. Now we're going to discuss other issues on LukeUncensored.com where I'm going to go off about everything that I can't say here. Again, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. Amazing human beings interacting with me, sharing this video with your friends and family members. That's one of the best things you could do. Even just random people. Random people. Send them this video. Someone messages you. You don't know. Someone spamming you. Span them back with this video. And because you guys do that, I am still here. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. Love you guys. Stay tuned for more here on wearechange.org.